How's it going everyone? My name is Adam from Sinister Custom Cycles. As promised in my first video, we're going to talk about the drivetrain today. How not to do it and how to do it right. A lot of you that may have bought kits or bought anything pre-assembled, you will see parts like this that come with it. A really cheap, thin chain wheel or sprocket and also some uh, rubber washers and a number of brackets in your hardware. This kit that comes, or this uh, kit that comes with the engine kit is going to attach directly to your spokes. Number of reasons that's bad. For one thing, you have no adjustment left to right. Uh, it's only single place. And also you're putting undue stress on your spokes. They're not designed for that kind of torque. So you're going to be bending wheels. Uh, you can't true your spokes with that sprocket attached to your spokes. So if you have it attached to your spoke, granted you do have movement left to right on your engine to adjust the alignment, but chances are you're going to be running a crooked line from your back sprocket to your front sprocket. And what that's going to do, that's going to put uh, premature wear on both sprockets, your chain and your bearings. Uh, potentially the chain could even slip off, get into your spokes, wreck your wheel, uh, crash and either get uh, seriously hurt or even kill yourself if you're in traffic or something. The adapter that I use, uh, it's an extra hundred bucks. I will not build a bike without this adapter. It's actually mounted directly to the rear hub itself. It has nothing to do with the spokes at all. The spokes are completely free. Uh, they're not constricted in any way. All the pressure is on the main hub itself. This also is going to give me a lot of room to where I can slide the rear sprocket left and right and line everything up perfect. As you can kind of maybe see through here, you can see I don't have a lot of, a lot of room to run this chain in between the frame of the bike, the wheel, and the fender. I have very little clearance on here. So it's got to be done really well and having that rear hub mounted sprocket giving me the ability to move the sprocket left and right along with the engine left and right gives me the perfect ability to adjust them both right so everything is in line and also I'm clearing everything I need to so the chain's not rubbing anywhere. Uh, just a, a basic uh, build quality of what I do here on uh, motorized bikes. I don't cheat on anything, I don't cut corners on parts, I'm not going to try and save a hundred bucks and do a cheap build that's going to fall apart and it's not going to last. I just ordered another kit, I'll be starting another build here soon which I will have pictures and videos of. These chain adjusters, the one I got on this kit is actually okay. The one I got in a newer kit, even though they said the kit was updated, is just total junk. They really went downhill. So I'm going to be going to a different style there and updating that and I'll be uh, having more videos on that and letting you guys know what I go with. That's going to be a lot better quality. So that's about it for this video. Uh, I hope this kind of helps you get an idea of how to uh, mount your rear sprocket and what the benefits are and what the dangers are of using the spoke mounted sprocket kit that comes in the uh, two and four stroke engine kits. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to wrap it up. My next video is going to be focusing on the crank set that comes along with the engine kits and what I've ran into as far as issues with that and how I've fixed it. Uh, pretty simple fix. There's a couple cranks out there that uh, you can pick up from 25 to 40 bucks. And when I put this kit in, it lasts about 10 miles and my bearings were just crushed and in pieces. I was going to spend about 170 bucks on a new crank set. However, right before I ordered it, I came up with a way to fix this and make it work phenomenal for about three bucks. So that'll be my next video and then after that I'll get into more updates and also what else I'm developing for these motorized bikes. 
uh, what I'm running into, how I'm fixing them, and a little bit more about how I build and what quality to expect from uh, Sinister Custom Cycles. Any questions, comments, concerns, uh, any ideas or feedback, definitely send them to me. I'll put my email up on the screen here shortly, or you can get it on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe. I'll be having a lot more how-to videos and uh, videos related to motorized bikes and new developments coming up. I'll, like I mentioned before, I'm also going to be doing another build here shortly on another beach cruiser uh, four-stroke engine. I'll do that. Uh, I'll kind of give updates uh, through and through right from the start to finish on what I'm finding and what I'm developing and trying new on that bike versus what I did on this one. Thanks again for your support. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, ask questions. I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. I appreciate everything and uh, have yourselves a good day.